In this video, I discuss four useful valuation formulas. Perpetuity, growing perpetuity, annuity, and growing annuity. The four formulas have many applications in economics, finance, and business. This is a brief summary of these four key valuation formulas. A perpetuity is a cash flow C that will be received forever. If you can invest at an interest rate R, then the present value of these cash flows is merely C divided by R. For example, if you can invest at an interest rate of 10%, the present value of $100 cash flow beginning one year from today and continuing forever is $100 divided by 10% or $1,000. Note that if I invest the $1,000 at 10%, it will spin off $100 in interest every year, so this valuation makes sense. A growing perpetuity begins with a cash flow C and then grows at a constant growth rate denoted G. In general, the present value of a growing perpetuity is C divided by R minus G. For example, if the cash payment of $100 from our prior example grew at 2% growth rate, we would receive $100 in the first year, $102 in the second year, as the cash flow has grown by 2%, and $104.04 in the third year, as compound growth in the promised payments yields a cash payment slightly greater than $104 in year three. This is a small effect in early years, but after 19, 20, or 21 years, the effect of compound growth on the promised cash payment starts to make a difference. The present value of the growing perpetuity would be the first cash payment of $100, divided by the prevailing interest rate of 10%, less the growth in the cash payment of 2%, which yields an answer of $1,250. Recall that the promise of $100 forever when interest rates are at 10% would cost us $1,000. Of course, it makes sense that we must pay more than $1,000 for this cash flow since our initial payments of $100 begins growing at 2% in year two. Note that the growth rate for the promised cash flow payment G must be less than the prevailing interest rate R for the growing perpetuity to have a sensible valuation. A fixed annuity provides a promised cash flow C for a fixed number of periods T. Note that the cash flow begins in period one and stops in period T. To calculate the present value of an annuity, we need to know the promised cash flow C, the prevailing interest rate R, and the number of periods over which the cash flow is paid T. For example, assume we are promised an annual payment of $50,000 per year for 20 years, when interest rates are at 10%. Though we will receive cash payments totaling a million dollars over 20 years, we know the present value of these payments is much less than a million dollars. In fact, the present value of the promised payments is worth only $425,678. A growing annuity provides a promised cash flow C one period from today, but then begins to grow at a growth rate G in the second period through the last period T. Thus, to value a growing annuity, I need four inputs. The cash flow promised in the first period, C, the growth in that initial cash payment, G, the prevailing interest rate, R, and the number of periods over which the annuity will be paid, T. To illustrate the application of the growing perpetuity formula, let's assume we are promised a $50,000 payment in one year, but after that, the payment will grow by 2% such that in the second year, it'll be $51,000. In the third year, we enjoy compound growth of 2% over two periods and receive a payment of $52,020, while our last promised payment in year 20 enjoys 19 years of compound growth at 2%, resulting in a cash payment of $72,840. Applying the growing annuity formula yields a valuation of $486,952 for the promised payments. Of course, it makes sense that an annuity that begins with a cash payment of $50,000 and then grows at 2% will be more valuable than a fixed annuity of $50,000 over the same number of years. These four valuation formulas, perpetuity, growing perpetuity, annuity, and growing annuity, are powerful tools that can be used in many settings in business economics and finance. I hope you find this review useful.